Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Ratchet Lecters. And today I'm gonna to be doing a top five games that should be remastered or brought forward into this new spectrum of gaming. The PS4, the Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch have brought old style gaming forward with its retro style 8-bit or 16-bit graphic games like Shantae or Bloodstained Curse of the Moon to games that are being remastered like Resident Evil 2, Shenmue 1 and 2 and many others. So these five games that I'm picking are solely from the Dreamcast library and I would like to see them brought forward into a compilation, maybe a remaster with a one and two and maybe a few games on a compilation and you know bring that forward to the masses because I would believe that these would do well because they're called classics in their own right and I believe that many people do deserve to play these. So let's just get started. Power Stone, developed by Capcom, Power Stone is a beloved franchise by those who played it. Unfortunately, many didn't, and it was only remade into the PSP collection and forgotten. Power Stone is a Smash Brothers style game, but rather be on a flat plane, you are instead set in a battle arena that is 3D rendered with obstacles, weapons, and furniture that can be used to get an upper hand on your opponent. The goal is to collect three gems and transform into your more powerful alter identity and to deal more damage. Power Stone has been forgotten by Capcom and may never be brought forth, but one can hope. Jet Grind Radio. Jet Grind Radio and Jet Set Future, developed by Slimebit, released October 30th, 2000. Jet Set is a unique action game that has you a player controlling Beat. Uniquely, Beat has an interesting method of traveling around. Rollerblades. Rollerblades were huge in the early 2000s in pop culture. As Beat, your goal is to compete against rival gangs for turf. Jet Grind Radio has the feel of a movie that was set in the 80s, The Warriors. If you haven't watched The Warriors, it's a rival gang that must get from one side of the city to the other before the night ends. And I, I do the comparison to Jet Grind Radio because there's rival turfs and you're trying to get your turf back from rival gangs using your tagging system. It's kind of like the Warriors, but not quite. I, you know, I, I based the comparison solely on the turf and the gangs related to the game and to the movie. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2. Marvel vs. Capcom, developed by Capcom, arguably the greatest two franchises combined for one of the greatest fighters ever made. Marvel vs. Capcom is one of my personal favorites fighting games of all time. Seeing a game using arcade perfect controls on a console was a rare sight. A remaster with HD graphics, stereo sound would go hand in hand. With games like Mortal Kombat 11 coming soon, it proves that tournament fighters are still important and what better game to make a comeback than Marvel vs. Capcom series. Now with the introduction of these two games, I would like to see a compilation maybe one, two, and three, maybe even four, maybe even infinite, you know, on a Blu-ray, a bunch, you know, unlockables where you could do unlockable characters, unlockable DLC, unlockable, so many different styles. Like Smash Brothers did 70 plus characters in their game and there's so much unlockables in that. And I'm sure that this could have that same feel because there was a bunch of unlockables, new music, costumes, fighters, and I think Marvel vs. Capcom would be a great game to bring forward onto new platforms and new games and hopefully get some of these people that had never played the first two to get a chance to play them. Legacy of Kain, Soul Reaver. Legacy of Kain, Soul Reaver, developed by Eidos, has you playing as Raziel, an unfortunate vampire who sprouted wings before your creator Kane. Kane felt betrayed by this and sentenced you to death but not before he rips your wings off. An eternity of damnation is your reward, and you set your vengeance at those who betrayed you. Legacy of Kain has a long line of games released for PS1, PS2, Xbox, and so on. A remaster pitting all the games onto one disc would do this game justice. Just based off of the cinematic and story elements of just this game alone, I, I absolutely love this game. The ability to switch between two realms, material and spectral planes, on the fly, gives an added gameplay element where not many games during this period of time gave you. If there was a puzzle that didn't make sense in the material world, you could automatically switch to the spiritual world and something opened up, a gate, or there was a certain weapon that allowed you to progress because of that. The hand-to-hand -hand combat, the fact that you could toss weapons at your enemies, you bleed them out, take their soul, and you could, once your soul reaver or your soul meter reaches a the, its capacity, you could automatically meld into the opposite spectral plane. This is a very underrated game and should be brought forward because we're not going to see probably another Legacy of Kane game. And this is probably my favorite in the entire series, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Tony Hawk was all the craze in the early 2000s. Many kids like myself clamored around the living room television trying to achieve the elusive 720 and unlocking outfits, boards, and characters. Everyone has their personal favorite Tony Hawk game. Mine is two, 
but depending on your time into gaming, many of you may not see eye to eye. Tony Hawk's success brought forth many clones to the extreme sport franchises, some for the better and some for the worse. Tony Hawk delivered everything that you wanted, an arcade feel game that wasn't quite an arcade game. This game was leaps and bounds over anything that we were playing at that time. People, were, like I said, would rush home. I would rush home and just play this game constantly, just unlocking characters, unlocking uniforms and boards and so many different things. And being able to do that at home on a console was so, such a great feeling, especially on the, the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 and the Dreamcast were one of my favorite ways to play this franchise. I haven't gone forward and played any of the Underground series or the four or five, and I don't know if how well they've turned out. I know that five and ride have been pretty bad entries into the whole franchise. A nice little collaboration disc of maybe one, two, and three, and then maybe the Underground series as its own collaboration disc. So you have two Tony Hawk versions of you know the Tony Hawk games. I would like to see something like that. These games are timeless in their, in their own right. You can go in, play, the music is fantastic, and being able to control these guys on the fly, up in the air, doing 360s and doing a ridiculous air when you have no gravity mode and all that set in, it was, was unbelievable. With that being said, there's so many other games I would like to see brought forward into the, you know, the new console generation that we're in right now. A lot of these games need to be remastered. A lot of them are a little bit polygonal and don't look as good as they're supposed to, but I believe there's still a large community that would love to play these games and experience some of the games that they haven't played in years, allow people to introduce their kids or family members to games that took them down the road of gaming at that point in time in their lives. Well, anyways, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks, guys.